Welcome to the Doc Auto Job Editor Guide. Here we'll be building a watchdog job to give you an overview of how the job editor functions. All of our global connections would have been set up in the administrative guide. Here you can name your job. It needs to be unique for the type. Here we'll be creating a job to monitor if any user is exporting excessive amount of items from the worksite server. General settings, here you can set your log level for the job. It defaults to what you have set in the administrator tool, but this will override anything there and is per job only. Our schedule cannot be set until we have saved our job. First thing we want to do is attach our worksite connections. All of these job connections are built in the administrative tool. For watchdog items, we can build queries that we can use for variables to plug in later if you like. In this particular video, we will not be doing that, but if you require assistance, please contact support at docado.com. Our evaluate time window will show you the threshold on which we will be checking. So we can check for items that have happened in the last hour, last 30 minutes, last couple days, last couple weeks, however you like. You may want to convert messages to GMT to local time and use GMT time correction for history date comparisons. Here we're going to enter events that we wish to monitor. In this particular case, we're looking for exports. And anytime it happens more than five times within our threshold window, we would like to be notified. If you like, you can disable the user account that is flagged for this operation. Here we can set filters for users or groups. This is useful if you have an attorney assigned to a particular client matter and they would like to be updated anytime something happens within that client matter. Here we can filter on metadata. Anything that you can pull back from worksite through the custom fields and a few others we can filter on. Same with where filed, we can watch a particular directory or structure. Here we can add exclusions. So if you don't wish to flag certain users, there's certain events that could happen during your events to monitor, you can enter them here. You need to set at least one action. Typically, you will want to be notified. And here we can set the layout of the email that will be sent. We can flag almost any metadata type to be in there. If you want, for each document that is flagged, we can include an NRL link back to that document. So we'll save our job, and then we'll want to add a schedule. So we want to name the job schedule. Each job schedule name needs to be unique within the job itself. So here I could have the job run once every hour. And because of our threshold, we'll look over the last hour that it ran to see if any of these events have happened. You can start it and set arbitrary end dates or beginning dates as needed. In this case, we'll have it run continuously forever save our job since we made a change. Any change you have, we'll place an asterisk next to the item name. You can now run the job. Once it runs, it will appear in the run history. Here we'll get statuses and logs. You can view the log from inside the application. So we see within the last hour, no one's exported more than five documents. We also have the edit history, which will show you when the job was edited and by whom, and the last known status. 
For more information, please see the user guide.